Hey Dom, this is Dave Decide. Today I want to get into V allegedly flirting during a concert and what that was all about. I wanted to get into V's privacy as well and I also wanted to get into some leaked pictures of being removed and what happened there. So hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, grab your dumplings, hey Spling Mug merch and let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is some photos online that have been removed or requested to V. There's a lot of content that exists in the BTS or K-pop fandom that seemingly the audience really hates and loves. There's footage that downright should be hated, like if you're taking a video of Jimin walking out of his hotel or recording his hotel room number, then maybe that content should not only not exist, but the person should be in jail. However, if it's content from a public event, I don't see this as a bad thing. There's been this long time hate with fan sites who bring big cameras to concerts. I thought initially the hate came from it just being very awkward and weird to see someone standing at a concert with huge cameras and lenses. Now, these fan sites will have super professional looking photos and are often the main way content about a new idol's hair or new outfit gets recorded and posted online if the idols are at the airport. And of course, super professional photos of concerts that a lot of armies don't get to attend. So for many armies, the photos is really the only way they get to interact or see the idol. So the real question I wanted to address is, are all fan sites bad? And should they not exist? Recently, Hive put out a statement saying that people should no longer be allowed to record at the Permission to Dance concert in LA. And all the video footage can be subjected to copyright. And then also prohibiting photography, voice notes, and those sort of things. This was done after several clips had shown Jungkook's wardrobe malfunction. He had a moment where his shirt had unbuttoned and right before he left the stage, he just decided to rip his shirt off and many armies had gotten footage of that. Likely one of the reasons Jungkook did not wait until he was fully backstage to take his jacket off or blazer off is because he really does not care and doesn't see the big deal in being shirtless. But since the label seemed to want to protect more of the idol's privacy, they might have issued a statement because of that. So that's an argument and statement that a lot of fans will repost when talking about fan sites, saying that this is because of them that Hybe had banned recording. And if BTS and Hybe don't like the recording, then they should not do them. And any photos that have fan site logos or you can see the camera settings on the screen, they usually teaser or preview photos. People are saying that those photos need to be legally removed off the internet and the argument of people fighting back with this is often that the other members do not care. You can often see these photos with the members smiling and gesturing happily and other claims that if let's say Jungkook is interacting very well with these fan sites then who else is to send hate to the fan site and that this is someone that is just cool with Jungkook. I personally do not think that there's anything wrong here with fan sites and not only that just because Hybe released their statement about ARMY not being allowed to record or document parts of the concert, does that mean that anyone who does record is going against that rule? Because if you aren't aware, Hybe gives you the option. If you are a fan club, you can register with Hybe to be an official fan club. I actually do not know if they still have this, but there's definitely a lot of official BTS fan clubs you can follow. And it's funny that even those fan clubs have gotten hate for posting photos when those images are likely approved by Hybe. And just for that, and the idea that we do not know who is official or not. We should not be attacking these people for photos. Now there was a particular photo that was going around that made people really upset for some reason. It was a photo where Taeyang was sitting down during the concert and he was just staring right into the camera. He smiled as well and people noticed that it was a preview photo and immediately this began to be shared as a stalker photo and was taken and this person snuck into the concert or whatever. It's interesting because if this was anything Taeyang was against, you'd know firsthand Taeyang would walk right up to this person and say something. He has no problems doing that and in the past has gone up to ARMY in the crowd to ask them if they were okay or to stop pushing since it looked like maybe someone was getting hurt. The idea that Taeyang would be begging for his privacy in these moments is ridiculous because there's nothing private about this moment. Taeyang is simply at a concert and he is going to enjoy getting his picture taken for either press, media, or just to go viral online. I mean these photos were definitely used in a way to promote the concert as they went super viral. If these reached outside the fandom, people would probably have likely seen it and then wondered who this beautiful person is and maybe follow them or listen to their music. I was so excited to hear that BTS was back in full swing with their concert and I have said this before that once this concert happens, so much will happen at the show that everyone will be talking about every detail. One of those details is of course the BTS and ARMY fan interactions. BTS often goes up to specific parts of the audience and interacts 
touches hands, or even just simply says hi. These moments are often recorded and then go super viral online, and fans either get jealous or just mad that the interaction happened with the fan that went to the concert and not them. Concerts are expensive, and these front row tickets where the members jump down and talk are often sold out quickly. Now, giving backstory on this moment where BTS flirts with people, you can definitely see how sensitive this can end up being. If you go back to the Grammy situation, BTS was expected to do their skit. Funny enough, they actually didn't know who they were going to sit with and who they were going to perform the skit with. Tang mentioned that an hour before the Grammys went live, this is when he knew the skit was going to be filmed with Olivia Rodrigo. Obviously, he couldn't say no because that's rude, but also there's no one else. Apparently, there wasn't even talking that happened. Tang was just mouthing words during the skit. This apparently was not okay with some people in the fandom that decided to send death threats to Olivia and her Instagram account. They wrote things like, stay away from Taeyang, as if this was a real moment. I believe Olivia has a boyfriend. And it's so weird. It's literally like such a childish mindset to believe that everything you see on TV that is a part of a show is real. That's like if Taeyang was killed in a film, which kind of did happen when he starred in Hwarang, and the fans send death threats to the killer because they think Taeyang is actually dead. It's just when you feel like you've reached a level of stupid that just can't be stupider, some of these people get dumber. And I really don't understand and where these people come from that give K-pop this name that everyone who likes K-pop are a bunch of weirdos who are not only obsessive but locked in their basement just laughs all day by a computer and has never seen the sun. Of course this was no different when a surprised clip of Tam coming down in the Busan concert to talk to ARMY was released. Tam was on stage during a song and it wasn't quite his part yet so he took a moment to point to interesting people in the crowd to say hi or just give them cute interactions. He often touches hands or even gives finger hearts and it's all stuff that makes everyone feel cute inside. When Taehyung pointed to someone, he eventually walked down into the crowd and it was apparently believed that these armies were really pretty and Taehyung came down to say hi to them and specifically said hi because they were so cute. Some armies were jealous and asked for their Instagram account. I honestly can't even imagine why you would want someone's Instagram account other than to send them hate. I also can't even imagine if these armies are sending death threats. There's been occasions where people will just take selfies with Taeyong or BTS members and suddenly their address is leaked and people want to cancel that. And it's like, what are you doing? Is Taeyong not allowed to meet anyone? A lot of it comes from this idea that they can't believe anyone else met their idol and they still haven't. Well, if you spend your days on your computer and sending hate to people, there's really no wonder that you won't be able to meet your idols. And I hope these people never do because I would imagine Taeyong would feel so uncomfortable meeting these people. Now, most of the time we would be unaware of how these armies actually look. It's just a select few people who are crazy enough to actually go and try to stalk these armies to get their information. But I don't think the members specifically would ever solo give another army attention just because they were pretty. I think they tried to be as equal as possible and there could just be a specific reason why they would choose to interact a bit more cutely with one of the fans over the other. Sometimes an idol will notice someone not having as much fun and they can play to that person to get them more into the show. That could have been what was happening here. But what do you think about all this? What do you think of moments where V is talking to people and results in threats? How do you feel about alleged V private moments being leaked and the fan club at concerts? Do you think fan clubs should not be allowed there? And what is your overall take on them? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.